What's going on everybody? We have a review video coming at you today. This is the Pelican Catch 100 Classic. They did have a Pelican 100 several years ago and then since then they've made a new model and then they actually came out with this Classic. So we're gonna dive in showing you what you get with the Pelican Catch 100 if you're looking at purchasing one of these this year. And I think for the money, just using this thing for the past two weeks, I think it's a pretty daggone good deal. So let's dive into this, show what you get. All right, so taking a first look at this kayak, it's a pretty sharp looking kayak. So this is more of the brownish tint, but you can get the one that has like the gray pattern on it. I think it actually looked a little bit better, but those were like 800 bucks. I got this one for 600 and there's a $150 mail-in rebate. So definitely check that out. I got it at Academy Sports. So they they randomly do deals like that. But the Pelican Premium, I don't know why they have to differentiate the premium on these, but I guess it's because they have more budget lines as well, even though this is a very budget-friendly kayak. But I think overall, it's a very sharp looking kayak. So if you're looking at something that's gonna look good and stand out, I think this does fit the bill for that. We're gonna start with the shell and the hull itself. So it's made out of a high density polypropylene plastic material. Sorry, I still have the sticker on it. I still got a couple stickers on it that came from it. But I think it's a very solid filling plastic. And I've had this sitting out in the sun at the camper and stuff. And it doesn't unmold or anything like that. It's just a really sturdy plastic. And that's one thing I like about Pelican is this plastic. My buddy had a Pelican John boat. And I love the way the plastic was because I had a sun dolphin and the plastic would warp and everything on it in the sun, but his Pelican wouldn't. So this plastic is very, very tough. It's very resistant to heat and stuff like that. So it's a very good plastic to go with. So if you're looking at something that's gonna hold up, this plastic is gonna do it. So uh, that high density polypropylene is the way to go. All right, let's talk about this seat next. So this is their ErgoCast seat is what they call it. There's a nice little Pelican emblem right there. It's like a uh, PVC type of plastic, but a very nice seat. I have no complaints with the seat. Honestly, for the price, I don't know if you can get another kayak that has a seat that is this good. And you can see all the adjustments and stuff if you want more uh, forgiveness or whatever in the seat, you can do that. And then you have your cinch straps here for uh, leaning that seat back or forward. And the seat has this little cinch strap that actually keeps it in. I don't know if I like that too good, but it's a very simple design and it's been working pretty daggone good. So you can tell, I don't even know how much I have it cinched down, but just a little bit of play and it kind of squeaks a little bit when you get in and out of it, but not a big deal there. So let's take a look at the seat itself. Let's get it out of this thing. Undo this, and this goes across the back. A very light seat. So we'll talk about the different seating positions that you can use. So we were in the upright position. You put them in these little tracks right there. And then it goes into the back here. But that's in the up position. Get you up off the floor a little bit. You're not gonna get as wet, and then I have scupper plugs in. But it also has like a forward position that goes all the way down. So if you're paddling, and that's pretty much all you're gonna be doing, you're not gonna be doing fishing and stuff like that. I find it's pretty uncomfortable when you're sitting in that low position, so I just leave it in the high position. And then for the strap, it connects right down there. You just kinda run it across the back here. Pull it through the front. You can see how it goes over the top of that one and across the top of the back one. Pull it through. Tighten that sucker down. All right, that's how you do that. So yeah, the seat, probably the best part of this whole kayak. Okay, let's start up front now. So let's talk about the handles. The handles on this thing, surprisingly, are very, very nice and sturdy. 
This looks like it would be rubber right here, but it's not. It's just a different color plastic. All of these have a nice Pelican emblem on them. And they're riveted in really nicely, but very solid handles. You have one on the front, you got one on the back, and two on the sides, and they're all the same. So very nice handles. So that's a big plus to this kayak as well. I don't think you can go wrong with these handles. I haven't had any issues and I've been using the crap out of them, carrying this thing by myself, using the two handles in the middle. It's worked out great. All right, next, I already kind of looked at that Pelican logo. Not the highest quality. You can tell it has a, a lot of play in it right there, but it's okay. It's not gonna, it's not a deal breaker there. It's just a logo. All right, we got our front hatch up here, which is a pretty cool little feature. It's got a nice little lock system. The hinge seems pretty nice. It has a little rubber seal that's in there, but there is no tray in here. So this is just open. It goes all the way back through. It's just an open hole in there. I think Pelican does make a thing that goes down in here and it kind of makes it like a dry storage, but you can always uh, rig up something yourself make that a dry box but as of right now it's kind of just useless it's taking up space for me okay as we move down the kayak here we got our foot tracks and they seem pretty good and they're not the most sturdy but how they work is you kind of tilt it back you can see how these disengage and you can slide it and then you can put then you put it into where you want it but when you're sitting in this thing and putting your feet on it, it does seem pretty sturdy. I haven't had any issues. And you have tons of leg room in this thing. I mean, the whole cutout goes all the way to here. You got plenty of room to stand. You got plenty of room to stretch out your legs. If you, if you have super long legs, this is gonna be the right kayak for you. And this is only a 10 foot. It does have these four inch tracks right here. So you could put Scotty mounts. You could put anything, rod holders. Anything like that that you like attaching to it. They seem secured pretty good. Then you got your scupper holes. They all look like that. You got four of them throughout. There's one under the seat and then one in that back area there. But I just picked up some cheap little scupper plugs from Walmart and they work pretty good. All right, you got some more securement points here. Little eyelets, you got one on each side. And then you do have like a little paddle securement there where you can secure that up a little bungee and you have one on the other side as well. So you got one on each side, you can put a rod or something there, who knows? Um, and then it has that little securement point right there. Don't really use those, they're kind of just on there. Looking at this drain plug, it's pretty nice. It has a nice rubberized material right there has a catch so it's not going to come out you just kind of pop it down in there and push it down and that's going to keep it nice and secured it's not going anywhere so really nice drain plug i haven't seen this on many budget kayaks like this so i like that so pretty nice bungee system here it's got four eyelets and then it has the little hooks here so if you want to put your crate in all you have to do is run these through the middle of it and it's going to secure down nice and tight it's a nice little bungee system there looking at the rod holder so you do have the slanted back rod holders so those are nice flush fitting they're also riveted in really nicely and you can kind of see how deep those go that's why i have this rod here so probably at least i'd say eight to ten inches in there so that's going to hold your rods nice and secure so can't complain there either but i guess i can't complain about i guess in the past they had a rod holder i think on this side right there but I think the reason they took it out is because that would probably impede your paddling. So I'm guessing that's why they upgraded and took that out. But nonetheless, I'm going to put a crate on this, so it's not going to matter anyway. And I'm probably not even going to use these. Uh, looking at the logos on the side, you have the catch right there. Classic 100 back there. And, you know, mine was already dinged up from the store. But it's not a great piece of graphic. But... I don't know, I don't expect that to hold up long. Then the classic 100 back here, I still gotta take off the sticker back there. But overall guys, not a bad little kayak. 
if you're looking to not pay a lot of money. So if you've never looked at a Pelican kayak, they're molded right here. They got the two pieces of shell that form together and they mold them super well together right there. So that's one thing I like about Pelican is the way they mold their kayaks. And look at the underbelly of this thing. Nice little hole design down there. It's kind of got that hollow hole. But I, I don't think it added to the stability too much. But overall, I think it works pretty well. And then the front right there, I guess is kind of what makes it track so well. It kind of has that cutout and that V notch in the front. So I think that's what kind of assists with making this thing track so well, even though it is so wide. So let's talk some specs on this thing. So it is 10 feet long or 120 inches is what it says. The weight capacity is 350 pounds and the height from top to bottom is 15 inches. And then the width is 34 inches. So you're getting a pretty decently wide kayak. And I think that's what adds to the stability as well. Also, you get the trade off with the speed. It's not gonna be as fast as a skinnier kayak but most of those skinnier kayaks, you can't stand up at all. So you're gonna to have to give and take a little bit. And I think it's one of the pros of this kayak. This only, only weigh, this thing only weighs about 52 pounds. So it's really portable and it's pretty easy to just unload the thing and get loaded by yourself. I mean, look at this and these handles are in a pretty good place to be able to do this too. All right, we're gonna get in and do a mini stability test of this thing, kind of show you what you're gonna get as far as stability goes to purchase this kayak. All right, so this one did not come with a strap to kind of assist you with getting up. So I kind of just push off the back of the seat here and then kind of get up. So it does pretty good. I mean, you kind of use it as a paddle board I weigh about 200 pounds, so keep that in mind when you're purchasing this, and I have pretty decent balance. But you can definitely tell that this is pretty tippy in a way. So you can get to one side or the other, and you can kind of tell where that tip point is, but it definitely stops you. But if you lose your balance, you're definitely gonna go, so not too bad. Definitely seen a lot better, but I've seen a lot worse. All right, let's show you what the fishing looks like off this when you're standing up. So the stability isn't too bad on this thing. So keep in mind, for five or six hundred bucks, what you're actually getting. This isn't going to be a Hobie or a Bonafide or something like that. Another thing I really don't like is 
there's no storage <laughs> there's no storage compartments anywhere i mean if you wanted to put a like a tackle tray or something right here it may or may not fit and then it has a tendency to kind of just fall under the seat there so i wish they would have been like a a little cutout right here you can put your tackle tray or something like that but other than that you just kind of have to put everything up under here you see i just have the bags and stuff just laying here all willy-nilly because there's no storage on this thing so i do plan on maybe putting some tray like i do plan on putting some like little tray holders or something on this thing but i've had this thing for about two weeks now and you know that is probably my biggest complaint is the storage there's just no storage on this thing all right so how does this thing do for paddling well i'll tell you where it's 34 inches wide it's not a speed queen by any stretch of the imagination it's actually fairly slow but since this thing doesn't weigh that much it kind of floats on top pretty well so it does get along decent i mean but don't expect this thing to be a speed demon uh as far as tracking straight for this thing not to have a rudder system or anything like that it actually tracks pretty straight i don't i don't feel like i have to compensate to one side or the other to kind of keep this thing going in a straight line so i will say that is probably one of the pros of this kayak is it tracks pretty well especially for this wide of a kayak but the paddling once again i would suggest getting it out to about 250 if you can 250 centimeters that way you can really get outside of these handles and not hit the side of the boat that much but other than that it paddles pretty decent i've seen a lot worse for sure there we go Ain't a huge one. Oh, swimming right at us. All right, bud. <laughs> Another Florida bass right here. Got a little guy. There we go. We got one. Heck yeah. All right. Heck yeah. Pretty fish right there. All right, let's catch some more. Got something. Another little trout. I got the net that time though. All right, bud. All right, well, they don't seem to hook themselves too good. Just don't catch me with your snaggle tooth. Look at that. These things just look gorgeous. Really reminds me of a brown trout. You got a little bit more teeth though. Beautiful fish. Got something. Mm -hmm. oh, shit. Another trout. They're just little things. This is like the stock trout. <laughs> Alright, bud, now you get yourself tangled all up. 
Way to go. Another one right here. Beautiful colors on this thing. All right, bud. I hope you like this review of the Pelican Catch 100 Classic. Overall, my opinion of this thing, it does have some cons for sure, but overall, I think if you're looking to spend under 600 bucks or right at it, this is gonna be the kayak for you. There's not a lot of kayaks in that range that are superior fishing kayaks. So this one will get you out on the water. It's gonna be a little bit better than what you get at Walmart. It's gonna have a little bit better stability than those kayaks that you get at Walmart. And you're not paying that much more. You're getting a really good seat. You're getting good handles. You're getting decent stability. You're getting a very high quality made kayak. Pelican is really good at making the molded plastic and stuff like that. So that is one of the pluses. And like I said, my buddy had a Pelican John boat for a long time and that thing was awesome. And we beat and banged that thing around and it did awesome, always performed. The plastic on this kayak is no different. So once again, if you're looking for a good kayak around the $600 range, I think this is gonna fit the bill for you. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in future videos.